the X-Wing is ready for some aerial combat with today's game, Planet Patrol. And look, it comes in a nice shiny box, so it has to be good. Let's go ahead and take Planet Patrol. Let's pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Pew, pew. Planet Patrol was published by SpectraVision and carries a copyright year of 1982. The manual opens with the following. Attention all pilots! All leaves have been cancelled. Return immediately to your star base. The planet Spectra has been invaded by Tia's troublesome invading aliens. Enclosed are your orders. Destroy the enemy bases and rescue the brave pilots stranded during the invasion. Planet Patrol is a side-scrolling shooter for one or two players alternating. The game has a standard difficulty and a children's difficulty. You can also use the difficulty switches to affect the difficulty. In the B position, your ship is smaller and harder to hit than when it's in the A position. For the controls, you use the joystick to move and press the button to fire. At the start of the game, you must avoid small, heat-seeking torpedoes, which cannot be destroyed, as well as larger drone missiles, which you are able to shoot down. After a while, you will hear some beeps indicating that a stranded pilot to rescue will be showing up very quickly. By touching his black ship, you will automatically rescue him and gain extra points, but if you are not careful, you can also destroy him with a shot. After this, three base stations will show up. You must destroy all three before colliding with the force field in front of them. After destroying them, debris will show up that you need to avoid, and shortly after that, a black runway will show up. By flying over it, you will land and refuel. Then the game enters a nighttime sequence, where as it gets darker, you will only be able to see by the light of your shots. After the night portion, the game returns to the daytime portion with increased difficulty. Scoring-wise, you start out getting 10 points per drone, 100 points per rescue, and 200 points for destroying all three bases, and all those values increase as the game progresses. You earn an extra ship every 10,000 points, up to a maximum of four ships stored. Not only can the game end if you lose all of your lives, but it can also end if you run out of fuel. If you hit the force field before destroying the three bases, or if you get the maximum score of 999,999 points. The manual also has ranks based on your final score. From 0 to 990 points, you're a private. From 1,000 to 9,900 points, you're a squadron leader. From 10,000 to 99,900 points, you're a captain. And anything above that is a space ace. I wonder what Dragon Slayer would think. Graphically speaking, I thought the game looked pretty good for a 2600 title, with a nice background that changes from night to day, and a cool refueling truck that shows up when you land. I will say that I found the strobe light effect at night when shooting a little bothersome to my eyes. Sound and music wise, the game is pretty basic. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if it was released today. Currently at PriceCharting.com, the game carries a value of $6 loose, $13 complete, and $19 new. So what did I think of Planet Patrol? I was pleasantly surprised by this game. It controls pretty well and I had fun at times weaving through missiles and drones. I also liked the different phases of the game and the graphics. Now it's not all perfect. There were times my shots went right through the wings of the drone. And sometimes the stranded pilot comes up too quickly that I'm not able to avoid shooting him. And the strobe light effect at night did bother me. But all in all I had a surprisingly pleasant time with the game and I could play it more in the future. So where am I going to rank Planet Patrol? This one's going to fly among some other solid titles in the 90s. I do like MASH more at 97, but I will put this over Shooting Gallery at 98. So out of the 194 Atari 2600 games that I'm now ranked, Planet Patrol is landing and refueling in the 98 position. Planet Patrol is a solid little shooter on the 2600, but that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash noseworgamer, just like Mark W. did recently, to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Noseworgamer. Gamer. Take care, and don't forget to refuel.